Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yamo. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And uh, if you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Today, I will show you guys how I got this amazing fabric, fa flying fabric manipulation. Uh, and uh, the, the good thing is I will give you my car and this PNG is used to edit this image so let's go step by step and this video is more is more useful for for beginners so if you're a beginner don't worry this video is also for you let's go step by step and then at the end of my video I will show you the password of the file I uploaded to my description this file contain PNGs and my car, I mean LUT, I use to edit this image. So, watch my video till to the end and got this free PNG and LUT. Okay, let me save your time. Let's go to the Photoshop. Yeah, this is our image. As you see, the first thing we do, make sure your background is good and uh, duplicate your layer by control J after duplicating your layer now go to the quick select selection tool select subject and then wait until the process to be done My subject is already selected now, so we can check if your subject is selected well. If it isn't selected well, so you have to fix. Okay, let me let me let me zoom and then start to fixing the area where my subject not selected. I'll do very careful in order to get more realistic result okay after process to be done go to the quick selection tool and then select select and mask Now I'm starting to refine my my model here. You will refine by using this brush here. You can brush all areas you want to be refined. And then select a new layer mask okay then check the down layer now go to down layer got the hue and saturation and decrease the saturation got the red and decrease the saturation my background will really look like this. Now go to the overlay file and pick your overlay. To me, I want to, to use this. So I will scale it to my background. Be very careful. To do this, you can squeeze by holding shift. Okay, will look like this. 
but I want to remove that goldish to the background but but before that I go to the blending mode and choose I think soft light is good to this okay let me choose soft light okay now go to the hue and the saturation go to the hue and change it and until you, you you find the the color you need i think i want it something like this go to the upper layer and go to the hue and saturation again go to the red reduce saturation it affects the whole image so control i and start paint to the areas you want to remove reddish color I want to remove reddish to my models hair and shows okay now it's before and after before and after okay I want to to add the some bra to my background to make it more realistic so go to the bra gallery tilt shift and then adjust where you want the bra to be starting up here i think i wanted to start here increase bra Increase to the to the area you want to the blur to be looking. Now go to the PNG file. Select your your fabric you want to use. I rotate it then squeeze to the, this position but as you see my fabrics are in red color and my model is closest is magenta so I use hue and saturation and selective color to fix the fabrics to to be the same color with my my model is the uh, closest so I will use selective color and hue and saturation. I skip this because I think everyone know how to to use hue and saturation and selective color. It's not an issue to to be lined, but you will squeeze your hue and saturation until you found the same color you need. So I think everyone understand me. So. I will start arranging my fabric to the background.
Now I will add some some bra to my fabric to make it more realistic because when you focus the the to the model when your camera lens focus to the model means other part of the image whether at the background or in front of your model will be don't forget guys if you want these PNGs and the rat I use to credit this image I have already post the link of a free download to the my description down here but don't forget it to have a password it has a password and uh, the password will be post very soon to this video so keep watching and got the password of my fireys so you can download it for free and access you to use them after make sure your image look better and it's it's look like more realistic you see this flying fabrics like the they are they are here when I, sh I take a shot of this image but all we know we manipulated this one so now it's time to add color to me i use this lot and the lot sometimes can affect your your model is closes or background so to fix this you can use you can use the layer mask so I'll use to the to the opacity I wanted to I wanted to to use and then control I select the white mask layer mask then control I make sure go to the to the blush and make sure the brush is stay at to the white color and then start blushing to the area you want to you want to add the the, the light blush to the area you want the light to appear i want it, i want the skin tone of the light so i will paint the to the area where my model skin is 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 visible so i'll paint brushing very careful now i add another rat to make it to make it more realistic okay the password of the the file i posted to my description there the png file and the lat file the password is here so you can copy this and then when you download my file you can use it to extract the file and now i want to do a frequency separation so i'll do retouching by using frequency separation as usual to this image my radius will be three K 
okay and then I will start brushing to the skin of my model Finally go to the camera lock filter and then you can use this setting to whitening eyes and teeth. This will help your image look more better and more attractive. Okay. I will do like this. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notification. Until the next time. Bye bye.